Well here we go, let's see if it starts up. I've I discovered battery wire loose under there in the rat's nest. I was charging the battery up yesterday. I don't think it very, did a very good job. I've tightened everything down, I'm a bit below power. Let's see, I should put that there. You might be able to just... Yep, I think everything's in the picture. Move that back slightly. Okay, let's see if this starts. the art of using the choke. I put the choke on. Oh. I'm not switch off. I'm just run it through a couple of times. See if I can get some fuel through. That feels good. It's not, not a beast. Wow. It was a beast before. Okay. Let's see, choke on. Spark plugs. Let's hope there's some juice going to this. What? Oh. Promising. Don't think I'm timed. Choke off. Choke back on. Fuel in. Something's happening, but well, something's happening. I'm going to need a cup of tea. cylinder. I'm going to put my old spark plugs back in, see what happens. Let's try again. Set the timing a little bit. Well, it's more towards the end. Let's see what we can do. Just put the fuel on. Yeah, it's on. Switch is on. Cup of tea or so at this end. Try again. See what happens this time. Fuel on. And choke. I've got oil. Let's check that. There is oil in. Remove those wires connected to the battery. Dangerous.
a big oil leak coming out of here. I'm trying to get in there to see where it's coming from. And I can see a drip from the rocker, uh, from the tappet cover. Okay, if it's from there, I'm happy. I can seal that up. If it's from the cylinder head, I'm very unhappy. And it can't be because the cylinder head gasket's there. The rocker cover gasket is here, and there is a definite drip above that level. Okay, bit of investigation. Well, I've got the bike going. I've turned. When it started up, I've turned the ignition this way. I've not had a chance to put the strobe light on because I saw the I saw the oil. I'm not going to uh, risk anything. I'll go in and find where the oil is coming from, tighten up, clean up, and come back. Well, you know when I said yesterday I'd gone round tightening everything up, then I double checked, then I treble checked. Well, I should have quadruple checked. Uh, you noodle! And oh my goodness me. They're loose. Anyway, at least I know where it's coming from. I'll clean up and let's get back on to timing this engine. Right, I lost my train of thought. Let's have another go. Make some jump. I need to have another cup of tea. Everything clean. Let's put this back on. Nothing attached. Right, let's just move that out of the way. Choke on, don't know whether I need the choke. Yeah. Try with a little bit and stopping a little bit right so I'm nearly there with the timing make some more adjustments back soon fuel on be careful see from back there but with the strobe light on this top dead center mark should be flashing more or less near the ad the advance and then 
going up beyond that with higher revs. Or is it the other way? I, I don't know, it's one of the two. But that top, the important thing at the moment is that top dead centre mark is flashing here. Now we're up and running. Firing. I need that plate to go round a little bit more, so I have to adjust the whole system so the dot more on this side. I'll get it. No oil leak at least. Good. While I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, there's my patent uh, store for the kickstart. Patent. <laughs> wire. Wire coat hanger uh, wrapped in, a, in the sleeve, some wiring sleeve, fastened down around the loop. Yeah, it does the job. Now that's not the original one. This is the original one. Look how it's bent. It's really bent out of shape. That's because this beast was so hard to to kick. I've, I've put it out of shape. Look at that. Wow. I'm going to get that in a press. I'll see if old Tom will do it. I think he can do anything. I will straighten that up and put that back on. In the meantime, there's my cup. Oh, no, no. There's my tea. It must be in my, oh yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. must be in my oh, tea bag, lovely. Let's get on, this bike runs on tea, fantastic, can't beat it, back soon. Got a bike fire, we're still. Residual oil should have gone by now. Oh dear. Looks like oil's coming past those scraper rings. Help. Well, time to have a think about this. I'll just take a break, do a few errands. And have a think about uh, about things here. So I've got it running, but the electronic ignition is not timed well. I'm just struggling to find it. The boyer instructions are vague to say the least. <laughs> 